Welcome once again to our episodes, Unveiling Prophecy, as we are going through these episodes, which are 30 numbers that can help us learn and understand the prophecy and also the modern times that we are living in. Today we are doing episode number 5, which will help us understand the judgment and how ready are we. And our main focus will be on the ten virgins, that is Matthew chapter 25. You know, when Jesus was here on earth and doing his ministry, he spoke so much in parables. And these parables had meaning that can help us know and learn to understand. Yes, in our previous episode, that's episode 4, we looked about the 2300 days where the sanctuary will be cleansed and we saw that that started in 1844 where we see the investigative judgment reading in revelation chapter 14 verse 6 through 7 and going also to other angels messages those are the three angels messages and are we ready or not is the question the parable of the ten virgins and the last day preparation. How do we need to prepare? May we have a word of prayer. Loving Father who does the most, I thank you very much. And we pray for your good and good. In Jesus' name I pray and be. Amen. And again. Five were ready, five were not. This simple parable holds the key to spiritual readiness in the last days. And the question comes to you and me, are you ready? Am I ready? In the book of Matthew, we see Jesus' discourse on the Mount of Olives. And the parable of the ten virgins, which is a symbolical, which has the symbolic meaning of the oil and lamps and also the virgins. And we see that when we read in Matthew chapter 25 verse 1, it talks about the bridegroom. And when you go and you read in the book of Ephesians chapter 5 verse 29, and also Revelation chapter 21 verse 9, and Revelation chapter 19 verse 7, Ephesians chapter 5 verse 29, it speaks about Jesus being the husband of the church. And we see that he is the bridegroom that cometh in this parable that we are speaking about. That's the parable of the ten virgins. And then we come to Matthew chapter 25 verse 5. While the bridegroom tarried, they all slumbered and slept. Matthew 25 verse 5. And reading also in the book of 1 Thessalonians. Therefore let us not sleep, as do others, but let us watch and be sober. 1 Thessalonians 5 verse 6. This comes to us that sleeping, it is not only in the physical, but also in the spiritual. In that there is sleeping spiritually, and there is sleeping physically. Then we shall know how comes that they slept. And then we, we look at the loud cry. That's Matthew chapter 25, verse 6. And at midnight there was a cry made, Behold, the bridegroom cometh. Go ye out to meet him. Matthew 25, verse 6. But the Thronians, chapter 4, verse 16. For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel, and with the trump of God, and the dead in Christ shall rise first. And we come to the lamps. This parable also had the lamps. That's then all those virgins arose and trimmed their lamps. Matthew 25, verse 7. Let your loins be girded about, and your lights burning. Luke 12, verse 35. Thy word is a lamp unto my feet, and a light unto my path. Psalms 119, verse 105. Now, in the book, Christ Objective Lesson, the two classes of watchers represent the two classes who profess to be waiting for their Lord. 
They are called virgins because they profess a pure faith. By the lamps is represented the word of God. The oil is a symbol of the Holy Spirit. The class represented by the foolish virgins are not hypocrites. They have a regard for the truth. They have advocated the truth. They are attracted to those who believe the truth. But they have not yielded themselves to the Holy Spirit's working. Christ Objective Lesson 406 to 411. So we see that there are two classes of watchers represented in this parable and we see that these watchers profess to be christians that means that these are not outside church but they are inside church that means that they are the people who have already believed in jesus christ they are the people who profess to be the followers of jesus christ the other thing which we can speak about is uh, the oil the oil, it means the Holy Spirit that is in Zechariah chapter 4. When you read it, it will spe it speaks about the Holy Spirit not doing by our own, but by through the Spirit of God that he gives us to do his will and his goodness. Now, when we also speak about the glee of the bridegroom, where we see the test of endurance and the patience. You know, there are times even Peter tells us that scoffers will come, and then they will start telling you that the, the Christ you have waited, even our grants waited for him, but he didn't come. We see the disappointment in 1844. We have seen prediction that Jesus is coming. In 2000, he didn't come. We are sure we're nearing the end. There is no time for a Christian now, for us to rest. And may God help us. Remember, the, uh, this is the generation that will close up the world, that will give the climate, that will be the climax of this world. We are in the divided Europe. That's the divided it was if you go to the blueprint of God. That's the image that was given in Daniel chapter 2. So may God help us and may you be able to stand, be given courage and hope that Jesus is coming soon. Don't wait until it is too late. Don't wait until it is not even there. Seek God now. Seek him and live ready for Jesus' return. May the good Lord help you, and may the good Lord help us, and may we be able to understand His word, so that we can be able to stand in this life that we are living in. May we have a of prayer. Having Father, who does in the most time, we thank you very much. We pray for you, God, and lead that your will be done. In just name I pray and believe. Amen. Don't miss any episode as we are sharing them. Share with a friend. And I pray that you continue giving them to many and many. May God bless you.